All right, here's the deal with the Khan family. This is very simple. I don't know anyone who has a problem with the Muslim Khan family immigrating to America. I do have a problem, however, with the Muslim terrorists who killed their son in Iraq immigrating to America. I don't wanna stop the Khan family from moving here. I do wanna stop the people who killed their son from moving here. This Distinction can't be hard to see, can it? Now let's talk about immigration for Muslims into America. If someone comes from a country where there's a lot of terrorism going on, they absolutely should have more scrutiny applied to them than a Buddhist from Quebec. Now, if Buddhists from Quebec start a blowing people up problem, then we'll apply more scrutiny to them, right? Again, I don't see the bigotness there. It just seems common sense. So if the Khan family tried to immigrate today from Pakistan, there would be higher scrutiny put on them, but they'd pass because they're good people and their son's gonna join the military and that's great. But let's say these two guys tried to immigrate today. They came to America in 2009, refugees from Iraq. 2011, an American soldier in a village in Iraq found a cell phone in a pile of rubble. The fingerprints on that cell phone matched the fingerprints of these two people in Kentucky. That cell phone was used as a detonation device that killed American soldiers. And they were arrested for trying to send weapons to Al Qaeda in Iraq. Now I can't imagine Mr. and Mrs. Khan would want these two people in America. These are the kind of people who killed their son in Iraq. So what can we do to stop it. What can we do to make sure people like those two killers don't come to America? I'd like the Khan's family suggestion. I'd also like to ask Hillary why she supports porous borders and loose refugee policies from certain countries where people like this can come into America so easily, like those two from Iraq. And if I were Trump, I'd flip it. Say, hey Hillary, why do you want the terrorist who killed the Khan's son to come to America? You must want it because you sure have no plan to stop it. Now. The Republicans could have preempted this whole thing from being a thing in the first place if at their convention they had someone like Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, born and raised in Iraq, Baghdad, he helped the Navy SEALs there for many years. And his family was at risk because he was helping the Americans. So he came to America as a refugee and now he's a citizen living right here in San Diego. I asked him on my radio show a couple months ago what he thought about Trump's policy on Muslims coming to America. And he said, oh, oh, no, no, you, you don't want these people here. I promise you, he said, you don't want the people I know in Iraq to live here in America. You need to make sure you know exactly who they are before you let them here. We talked to another man from Afghanistan who said the same thing. Why didn't the Republican Party have Johnny Walker speak at their convention and preempt this whole thing? I don't know, maybe Trump's team can reach out to Johnny Walker and have him speak in the next few months here. In the meantime, maybe Mr. Khan should give that pocket constitution to Hillary Clinton. She needs to brush up on it as well.